Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Brick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at the Al Safriya Palace a delegation from the Middle East Policy Council consisting of former U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain and board member of the Middle East Policy Council, Roland Newman. The council's president and chairman of the board of directors, Richard J. Schmeyer, and former U.S. ambassador to the Sultanate of Oman and executive council director, Thomas Mater. His Majesty welcomed the visiting delegation and hailed the friendly relations that bind Bahrain and the United States that span for over 120 years of joint cooperation and coordination that keep witnessing further development in all sectors in a manner that benefits both countries and their people. His Majesty also expressed appreciation for the vital role played by the U.S. in sustaining security and stability regionally and internationally. His Majesty the King affirmed that the people of Bahrain live in a tolerant and loving society, embracing all religions and sects, asserting in, the regard, in this regard Bahrain's freedom concerning the practice of worship and for many years in peace. His Majesty also discussed with the visiting delegation a number of political, regional and international issues in addition to the exchange of uh, points of views on topics of mutual interest. His Majesty lauded the role of the Council of the Middle East Policy in organizing conferences and preparing specialized research and studies on various political and security issues concerning to the Middle East region, praising the presidents and members for their diplomatic expertise that enabled them to achieve the Council's goals and aspirations. For his part, Richard Deschmeyer expressed a thanks and appreciation for the warm hospitality received by His Majesty, hailing the development the Kingdom keeps witnessing under his leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today a handwritten letter from the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, inviting him to the first Arab-European summit in Egypt. The letter was delivered to His Majesty the King by the Ambassador of Egypt, Suha Ibrahim Mohammed, in Safriya Palace today. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the President of Egypt for the invitation and praised the relations connecting the two countries and the level of cooperation and coordination on all levels. His Majesty congratulated the President of Egypt for getting elected as the head of the Af African Union and wished him further success. His Majesty the King uh, praised Egypt's vital regional and international role and its efforts in defending the Arab nation's interests. His Majesty then wished the summit success in achieving its goals and in creating a qualitative shift in the history of cooperation and strategic coordination between Arab and Europe and uh, promoting the Arab-European partnerships. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam Khalaf, and Deputy Minister of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food, Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, in the Safriya Palace today. His Majesty expressed his appreciation for the efforts that the two ministries have been undertaking through legislation and lawmaking, which contribute to national objectives. His Majesty also encouraged the work of the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries and Food, as it represents an important part of ensuring the country's food security. His Majesty also encouraged the Ministry to take advantage of the capacities of the citizens to help the Ministry to achieve its objectives. For his part, the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning expressed thanks to His Majesty the King for his directives. The Minister also presented his uh, Ministry's projects to His Majesty. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today in Ghadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed that Bahrain succeeded in organizing and hosting national and international events in accordance with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's vision due to its security, stability and its attractive elements in all sectors, including exhibitions and conferences. They stressed the importance of continuing the developments in the industry of exhibition and conferences and to continue hosting and organizing events that support the economic system in all its branches of trade, investment and tourism. They stress that the government's attention towards exhibitions and conferences comes from its belief in promoting development and investment opportunities and to enhance the Bahraini strategic partnership with various countries and companies. They also affirm that Bahrain will always welcome exhibitions and conferences and will provide the necessary means of success.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Ghadebiya Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, where Secretary General Dr. Yasser Al Nasser gave the following statement. The cabinet expressed congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and to the people of Bahrain for the occasion of the endorsement of the National Action Charter, which came as an initiative from His Majesty the King and was unanimously voted on by the people of Bahrain. The cabinet noted that the National Action Charter represents the national unity of the people of Bahrain and represents a solid foundation for the project set forth by His Majesty the King and the cornerstone of the democratic and institutional transformation witnessed by the Kingdom. The Prime Minister directed all government sectors to encourage sports events on the National Sports Day on Tuesday to achieve its goals and spread awareness on the importance of sports. His Royal Highness welcomed the positive outcomes of the official visit of the Crown Prince of Jordan, His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah Thani, or the second, which resulted to the development of relations between Jordan and Bahrain. His Royal Highness directed the, pres the preservation of heritage buildings and historical places in the kingdom's governance, including Manama, and assigned the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Endowments in cooperation with the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the reconstruction of Qasim al mihza Mosque. The cabinet then took the following decisions. The cabinet approved a draft law under the name of Correctional Justice for Children and their Protection Against Abuse. The draft law included a number of uh, precautions uh, that does not take a child away from its family environment and introduces a new justice court uh, for children specializing in crimes committed by children under the age of 15. It also includes a, a judicial committee for childhood specializing in inspecting child abuse. The Cabinet approved the amendment of the provisions of the Criminal Procedure Code to facilitate investigation procedures and faster prosecution of cases, allowing the prosecution and the court to adopt modern means of audiovisual technology and transport in all procedures and hearings. The amendment also supports a witness protection and implementation of easier solutions. The Cabinet then referred the draft law of the Decree 46 of the year 2002 to the Representatives Council. The cabinet approved the grant of uh, discounts to some airline and shipping companies that attract tourists to Bahrain for two years, which was recommended uh, by a committee for financial and economic affairs and physical balance. The cabinet approved the six years renewal of the agreement between the government of Bahrain and the United Nations Organization for Education, Science and Culture, UNESCO, regarding the establishment of a regional center for information and communication technology. The Cabinet reviewed the results of World Health Organization study that examined the risk of electromagnetic emission from Communications Tower, which stated that the way Communication Tower is run in Bahrain follows international protocols and has no health risks. The Cabinet reviewed the report of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, which reported the result of the 5th EU League of Arab States, LAS, ministerial meeting held in Brussels and the results of the ministerial meeting of the Global Coalition Against ISIS or Daesh. They also reviewed the results of the ministerial delegation led by the Minister of Finance and National Economy at the E4, the Arab Financial Forum, organized by the Arab Monetary Fund and the World Government Summit organization held in Dubai. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadebiya Palace former U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain and a board member of the Middle East Policy Council Roland Newman, Council's President and Chairman of the Board of Directors Richard J. Schmeyer and Executive Council Director Thomas Mater, currently on an official visit to the Kingdom. During the meeting, His Royal Highness welcomed the Middle East Policy Council delegation to the Kingdom, hailing the efforts exerted by the Council through the studies and researches in reinforcing common understanding of issues related to the security and stability of the region. His Royal Highness underscored the world's need for peace, especially in the Middle East, noting that cooperation and coordination is the answer to resolving conflicts and ending crisis, as this region demands joint efforts to maintain its security and stability and ensure a better future for its countries and future generations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the importance of the role that research centers play in enhancing understanding and communication between countries and building a collective international vision that is close to the challenges facing the world and the region, especially in the political, economic and social fields. He also noted that ensuring the success of the efforts of societies in the field of development and sustainability will be achieved only through joint cooperation and the development of effective mechanisms to ensure that security and stability prevail throughout the world, thus achieving the prosperity of the people. 
His Royal Highness discussed with the guests the latest regional and international developments and the efforts exerted by Bahrain in supporting the international community in the security and stability fields. For his part, Ambassador Newman expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his efforts to spread peace and stability in the world and the Middle East, praising in this regard the policies adopted by the Kingdom of Bahrain and supporting the pillars of international cooperation in the field of security and stability. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Chairman of the Board of Infunas, Yusuf Yassin, and uh, the General Manager of its Bahrain branch, Hamad Ahmed Al Amr. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad praised uh, the close relationship that connects the Kingdom of Bahrain with Saudi Arabia in light of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the efforts of whom have yielded cooperation and coordination on all aspects. His Highness praised the efforts of uh, Infinas, uh, which he said is among the largest companies that support uh, various sports and social activities in Bahrain over the past few years. For his part, uh, Hassan Yassin expressed thanks uh, for His Highness uh, Sheikh Nasser's interest in social and sports matters as well for receiving him. His Highness Sheikh Nasser then received a collection of books and publications. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the STIA, attended its sincere, extended its sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 18th National Action Charters voting anniversary and the 51st anniversary of the BDF establishment. The Council, in its ordinary session, which was chaired by its President Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid al Khalifa affirmed that the National Action Charter's anniversary brings about the spirit, determination and courage to move forward with great faith and hope to achieve success and overcome challenges. In this regard, he hailed uh, the great role played by the Bahrain Defense Force along with the other security and military sectors in preserving and defending national achievements and historical gains in a manner that preserve the country's security, stability and independence. The Council also lauded the great efforts exerted by the United Arab Emirates, which resulted in the launch of the Document of Brotherhood, signed by the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Dr. Ahmed Al-Tayyib, with His Holiness Pope Francis Benedict the uh, Sixteenth, thus clearly proclaiming uh, the commitment of the greatest uh, religions to love and peace and denouncing terrorism. After that, the Council reviewed topics on its agenda and began by reviewing the report of the Committee on the Formation of the Islamic Opinion on two applications submitted to the Council by the Representatives' Council. The first is a draft law to uh, repeal uh, Article Number 353 of the Penal Code uh, promulgated uh, by uh, Legislative Decree Number 15 of 1976, submitted by the Council of Representatives. And the second is a draft law to add a new Article Number 350 to the Penal Code promulgated by a legislative decree number 15 for the year 1976. The Minister of Information Ali bin Mohammed Ramehi participated in the Future of Government Communication Forum in Dubai in the UAE under the sponsorship of the Vice President of His Highness, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates and Ruler of the Emirate of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The minister expressed pride in the state of the media in the, in the region across all aspects. He said that the fast-paced and high-volume nature of the information has caught the attention of governments as integrated information technology as part of its operations. The minister stressed that communication between the leaders and officials of various countries has become a common characteristic which reflects the fact that citizens will remain a part of national decision-making processes across the region. In accordance with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, during the Government Forum 2018, 5,000 housing units have been distributed by the Ministry of Housing in the Khalifa Town project. Deputy Minister of Housing Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa said that the Ministry began to receive the first batches of citizen beneficiaries of the project. He said that the new town represents one of the major parts of the Ministry's housing projects of building 40,000 houses 
as per the Economic Vision 2030. Sheikh Abdullah said that the efforts of building the housings are reflective of the vision and aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the directives of the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to hasten the process. Drafted by a committee of 44 Bahraini men and women, a mixture of officials and civil society members, the National Action Charter was regarded as a society-inspired step towards modernization and development that covered human, political and religious rights and freedoms of expression. Shura Council Representative Dr. Abdulaziz Hassan Ali Abul said that the kingdom has made a strategic move in the direction of building the state and the political process itself. The, uh, the adoption of the National Action Charter ex exhibited the uh, referral to, to the direct democracy or the process of di direct democracy. Therefore, the, the popul pop popular will were exhibited directly in their voting, which was the highest, I think, among the whole re in the region and among the whole, the whole um, uh, uh, using uh, use, u u uh, usual use of this directly. It was. 98.4, so that indicated uh, almost a consensus of all the people. Also, it, may, it means that Bahrain has moved from a certain regime to a, p p a political system, which was, of course, an, uh, a, a, a move, a strategic move in the direction of building the states and building the, the, uh, the political process itself. The National Action Charter, uh, uh, let's say, accepted or approved a political system that be, that's based on bicameral um, uh, ch ch uh, chambers. Two chambers, we have one an elected chamber and an appointed chamber. Both of them has the, the, the uh, power of dealing with the legis legislative power. So this le legislative power, we in the council deal with one part and the, the elected party, um, the elected council deals with uh, oversight and of course legislative, which means it is, there is a balance and there is a safeguard for the rights of the population. A public survey was conducted on the 14th of February of 2001, which revealed the approval of the people of Bahrain with a rate of 98.4% as the National Charter was considered the peak of democratic development in Bahrain. Representatives Council Member Sousan Mohammed Abdurrahim Kamal said the 14th of February marked a new chapter for the kingdom. In 2001, Bahrainis strongly backed proposals to turn the country into a constitutional monarchy under the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa uh, with an elected parliament and independent uh, judiciary. 98.4% uh, voted yes in the referendum. Uh, on the National Action Charter. Well, uh, February 14th is a day that marked uh, a new chapter for Bahrain. Uh, the constitutional referendum is considered the cornerstone for promoting freedoms uh, on the social, economic and political levels. It showed also the presence uh, and uh, national determination to participate and contribute to decision making. Uh, reflect the national shift around the leadership, uh, showing Bahraini's ability to meet the challenges and uh, the requirements that call for strengthening the national alignment and uh, protecting the civil peace. Our goal is to be an active member and uh, share with the government sector in terms of developing the economic and society. Uh, the parliamentary experience should contribute to the promotion of economic growth. Uh, we hope that the current parliament reflects the aspirations and hopes of the uh, Bahraini people and emphasizes the uh, rational and caring vision of Bahrain and its people and put into consideration any exceptional circumstances.